on. Whoever loved manumission of slaves during the solar eclipse. Narrated Asma bint Abu Bakr, may Allah be pleased with them. No doubt, the Prophet, peace be upon him, ordered people to manumit slaves during the solar eclipse. Chapter 1 To offer the eclipse salat, prayer, in the mosque. Narrated Amra bin Abdul Rahman, may Allah be pleased with them. A Jewess came to Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, to ask her about something. And then she said, May Allah give you refuge from the punishment in the grave. So Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, asked Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, Would the people be punished in their graves? Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, said, I seek refuge with Allah from the punishment in the grave, indicating an affirmative reply. Then one day, Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, rode to leave for some place, but the sun eclipsed. He returned in the forenoon, and passed through the rear of the dwellings of his wives, and stood up and started offering the eclipse salat, prayer, and the people stood behind him. He stood for a long period, and then performed a long bowing, and then stood straight for a long period, which was shorter than that of the first standing. Then he performed a prolonged bowing, which was shorter than the first bowing. Then he raised his head and prostrated for a long time, twice, and then stood up for the second rak'ah for a long while. But the standing was shorter than the standing of the first rak'ah. Then he performed a prolonged bowing, which was shorter than that of the first one. He then stood up for a first, then again performed a long bowing, which was shorter than the first, and then prostrated twice for a shorter while than that of the first prostration. Then he finished the salat and delivered the khutbah, religious talk, and said what Allah wished him to say and ordered the people to seek refuge with Allah from the punishment in the grave. Chapter 1 The solar eclipse does not occur because of someone's death or life. And this has been narrated by Abu Bakr, Al-Mughira, Abu Musa, Ibn Abbas, and Ibn Umar, may Allah be pleased with them. Narrated Abu Mas'ud, may Allah be pleased with him. Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, said, The sun and the moon do not eclipse because of someone's death or life, i.e. birth. But they are two signs amongst the signs of Allah, so offer salat, prayers, whenever you see them. Narrated Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her. In the lifetime of the Prophet, peace be upon him, the sun eclipsed, and the Prophet, peace be upon him, stood up to offer the Salat, prayer, with the people, and recited a long recitation. Then he performed a prolonged bowing, and then lifted his head and recited a prolonged recitation, which was shorter than the first. Then he performed a prolonged bowing, which was shorter than the first, and then lifted his head up and performed two prostrations. He then stood up for the second rak'ah and offered it like the first. Then after finishing the salat, he stood up and said, The sun and the moon do not eclipse because of someone's life, i.e. birth or death, but they are two signs amongst the signs of Allah which He shows to His worshippers. So whenever you see them, make haste for the Salat, prayer. Chapter 1 To remember Allah during the eclipse. This is narrated by Ibn Abbas, may Allah be pleased with them. Narrated Abu Musa, may Allah be pleased with him. The sun eclipsed and the Prophet, peace be upon him, got up being afraid that it might be the hour, i.e. the day of judgment. He went to the mosque and offered the salat, prayer, with a long qiyam, standing, bowing, and prostration that I had ever seen him doing. Then after the salat, he said, These signs which Allah sends do not occur because of the life, i.e. birth, 
or death of somebody. But Allah frightens ibadahu, his slaves or his worshippers, with them. So when you see anything thereof, proceed to remember Allah, invoke Him, and ask for His forgiveness.